My dear friends, I would like to shine the homiletical spotlight, if you will, this morning in this sixth day of our novena. And I would like to put a tag on this text from the Gospel of John. I would like to entitle it, Even Now. We often hear about Martha remembering when Jesus went to visit their home in Bethany, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus' home, how Martha seemed to be busy about many, many things. And she was in many ways ridiculed and even re rebuked for her treating Jesus as if he was just another guest and she was so busy about and anxious about all the hospitality preparations. But we hear today that Martha is being Martha again. She sent word for Jesus to come and perhaps heal her brother. Jesus chose to wait two days and said, this death will not end in death. It will be for the glory of God. So when Jesus got there, it had been four days. And of course, when word came that Jesus was coming, who else but Martha? Martha went running out to Jesus and she was upset. You know, death brings a great deal of grief. When someone loses someone, they get angry because they're grieving so deeply. She had seen and undoubtedly heard about her good friend Jesus healing everyone else. But when it came to her family, her only brother, where was Jesus? Why didn't he not come and heal immediately? And so when Jesus came there, she began to yell at him saying, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would never have died. But then she says something that I would like to put as the crux of this scripture text today. She said the beautiful words, my friends, but even now, I want you to say those words wherever you might be as you are seeing me. Just say the words, even now. Even now, I believe that the Lord will give you whatever you ask of him. What profound words of faith. She says, I might be upset. I'm disappointed. But even now. Beloved, we are in a time of global crises. We're going through this global pandemic. I live in Louisiana, and undoubtedly you've heard that in Louisiana, the rate of the coronavirus keeps rising. And, and I hear of so many people living here being fearful, being afraid, being worried. And yet, we are called to pray the prayer of faith that Martha prayed. She prayed to Jesus and told him, even now, I believe that God will give you whatever you need or whatever you ask of him. She's also, Martha is speaking to me saying, Father Maurice, even now, I believe in the midst of your fear, your worry, your anxiety. I believe that in the fear of trying to make sure you have enough groceries, that Lord knows we have enough toilet paper. Everyone's running with anxieties and fear. That even now, whatever you ask of the Lord, he will give you. Even now. Beloved, even now, I know that so much worry, so much fear, so much anxiety is going through you, but our God has not forgotten you. God loves you. God hears you. God is answering you. Even if you don't see it right now, he's heard you. And God will answer you in his own time. You would think that that would be enough for Martha, but when Jesus finally gets to the tomb, he tells the people to roll that stone away, and here comes Martha again. Instead of letting Jesus be Jesus, letting God be God, letting go and let God have God's way, she tells him what to do. She says, Lord, there's going to be a stench. He's been in there four days. What's going to happen now? Even now, we have to believe that if we call on God, let God see it all the way through. And you can see in that beautiful uh, story, scripture story, how 
Jesus called for Lazarus. He said, Lazarus, come forth. He called him particularly by name, specifically by his own name, because he had already said, I am the resurrection. Lazarus, the name itself means God is my savior. God saves me. So Jesus said the word Lazarus, come out, because if you are the resurrection, if you would have just said come out, all of those in that cemetery would have come hopping out of their graves rejoicing. But he was very specific. He says that time shall come. But right now, I want my friend, my brother, Lazarus, to come out. He's calling people to come out. Come out of your fears. Come out of your worries. Come out of your tombs of anxiety. Come forth. And that's not enough. We may come out bound. The prayer of Jesus is that we all should be free. He told them, untie him and let him go free. Beloved, my simple prayer for you during this coronavirus and during the sixth day of the novena, the God will call you out of your fear, call you out of your anxiety, untie you, and let you go free. There are several biblical statements that I would like to leave with you. In fact, there are seven, seven biblical statements I would like to remind you of. And these are all in the Bible. What does God promise us biblically? He says, I am your strength. I will never leave you. I have plans for you to prosper. I hear your prayers. I will fight for you. I will give you peace. I will always love you. That's the promises that our Lord makes to us. And he makes it for you and for me even now.